Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So if you guys don't know, if you guys aren't following the news, basically an iCloud bypass came out for a majority of newer iPhones, that's all the way from the iPhone 6, all the way to the iPhone 10. So if you're getting one of those devices, you can iCloud bypass that device. Now this is for educational use. I'm not reliable for anything. This is only to showcase if you get locked out or something like that, this is what you do. I will also say this isn't perfect. There are a couple issues here and there some cell signal issues right now, but those will be fixed throughout time. But I want to give a shout out to Check Rain, that whole entire team. They were the eye crazed, MacPort, iMuseum, Exploited, all those people, they're insane the work. You know, it's awesome. I also want to give a shout out to Apple Tech 752. His tutorial is the one that kind of inspired me to do it, you know, and I figured I can give it to a broader audience. So shout out to him. He, you know, made all these files and everything, a lot of work. So the first thing you want to do is you want to connect your iCloud device. Now I have an iPhone 6 Plus that I never used. I bought it with an iCloud and it just I just never got around to fix it or anything like that or use it for parts. But we're going to be using that now. The first thing you want to do though, you want to go to this website, check rain, check or whatever. Apple Text website, he does actually include that into the install file, but you can just do it separately. And the first thing you want to do is jailbreak your device. So you can jailbreak it even though it's not even, you know, unlocked or still locked or whatever the case is. So I'll leave the first link down in the description that'll explain exactly how to jailbreak your device. It's it's so easy. I just don't want to waste three minutes talking about it in this video. So watch that video if you haven't jailbroken your device yet. But after you're done jailbreaking, only proceed once you're done jailbreaking. What you want to do at that point, click the second link down in the description that will take you to Apple Text video or his website or whatever. So what you want to do at this point, click his first link wherever check rod dot one and iCloud bypass package, wherever that's at, that's where you want to download it at. So Go ahead and click that one. It'll go ahead and start downloading up here. It's only like a 30 megabyte file. It's not going to take too long. And this is where I probably will end up losing some people, but it's completely crucial. There's some ways, to, there's some other ways to go about doing it, but this is probably the main way I would recommend it. So what you want to do at this point, you can go and open up the commands file. This one is actually super helpful. I'll be kind of looking at this while I'm explaining to you guys how to do it. You will need to install Python if you're going to be going through this method. So if you're going to do that, you can go and install Python this way, or you can go to search of Python, how to install super easy. It's only going to take like 20 seconds for you to do it. So once you have Python installed, that's another preliminary thing. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and click your TCP relay.py file. You want to go and click open, click open with. And then you'll see something like Python launcher or something like that. Now I have Python 3.7, so I'm going to go use this one, but you should have Python 3. whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and click Python launcher. And as you can see, I get a ton of different pop-ups and I eventually do get this pop-up right here. So what you want to do at this point, once you're right here, you want to go ahead and go back to your commands folder and you want to go ahead and copy and paste this specific thing right here into right here. So before I had it kind of messed up right here, but you want to copy and paste that first little block of text. You want to put that right here. You want to go and click enter. And it should take a second. As you can see, it's taking a second. And remember, you want to keep your iPhone plugged in the whole entire time you're doing this. Don't be unplugging it or anything like that. Make sure it's plugged in the whole entire time. So now what you want to do is you want to go and open up another terminal shell. So let's just go to the window and you can go ahead and open up another terminal shell. Now, what you want to do at this point, you want to copy that second block of text right into that specific uh, terminal. So as you can see, go ahead and click paste. As you can see, we're getting some things. Are you sure you want to continue yes or no? You want to go ahead and type in yes, of course. And then you'll get a little password thing. The password here is Alpine. So A-L-P-I-N-E, go and click enter. As you can see, bash 3.2, you go and see that. So what you want to do at this point, you want to copy this block of text. You want to go and paste that right there. You want to go and click enter. As you can see, bash 3.2 again. Now you want to go and copy this, paste that in, click enter, cool. And then you want to go ahead and copy this thing again, click copy, click paste right here. Okay, cool. As long as you're seeing these, you're doing well. And then you want to go and copy this. And he says a little thing right there. Click copy, click paste. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of a second. It's not going to take too long. And now I'm filming my iPhone 6 Plus while I'm doing this. You know, as you can see, it's still plugged in right here. Still on that home screen or whatever. Now what you want to do at this point, you want to click on kill all blackboard or whatever. Click copy. Go ahead and paste that right there. Once you're all done with everything, click enter. And as you saw, the thing actually went through and it's going to take a second for it to actually reboot. And as you can see, we're actually within the device. And believe it or not, this is as easy as it gets. It's kind of weird that that is the process. I mean, we'll go ahead and kind of go through it a little bit. As you can see, it's fully working. We have check rain right there. The process is super easy. It's the same exact way for a lot of the devices from the iPhone 6 all the way to the iPhone 10. The iPhone 5S is not supported, but that's completely okay. And it's fully functional, as you can see. As you can see, everything works smoothly. We go and click, uh, you know, everything works. We can go into settings. You can see sign in to continue. We still have that there. It's actually 
fully iCloud unlocked, which is so crazy to see. Now, I am curious to see, you know, whether some people have been saying that if you restart the device, it doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and try that for you guys to make sure whether it's still working or not working. So, so I just slid the power off. And then we're going to go ahead and see once it's fully turned off whether it still works or not. Okay, it's going to go ahead and restart. And I guess we'll just see what happens. Hopefully it is still fully unlocked. If not, it still adds some functionality to it. It doesn't take too long to fully unjailbreak it or to fully go through the process again. It only takes a couple of seconds. So I will tell you though, the 6 Plus takes us such a long time. Uh, and no, it fully works. So even when it's, you know, you power off or anything like that, it's fully taken off this. So some people were saying that, oh, it doesn't work when you restart or whatever. It works when you restart it as well. So that's pretty much it, guys. You can do whatever you want to with it. This is awesome. I love this so much. The process is super simple. If you guys run into any issues or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer back, but that's pretty much it. Shout out to everyone who worked on this again. Without their hard work, we would have never been able to achieve this. Check Rain Team, Apple Tech, all those guys. Give them so much love. This is awesome. But that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it would mean so much if you guys could do that. Check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to the...